Hi guys, welcome to the Nordschleife. As you can hear maybe the cars in the background. We are here today with the Poseidon A45 AMG. Specifically their RS 525 Plus model. The 525 standing for the 525 horsepower. So we're gonna test this car on track today. Uh, we will put a link in the video as you can see right here uh, where Max already drives this car on the street and tells you, tells you a bit more about what is going on under the hood of this car. So A45 AMG, this car sits on Pirelli Trofeo or P0 Trofeo R. The AP caliper, so the big six pot up front with racing pads and 366 millimeter discs on the OZ Formula Racing HLT wheels. Uh, 245 in the front, also a 245 in the rear, also with uh, a racing braking pad in the rear. And the car sits, as you can see, quite a bit lower. That's because it sits on KW Club Sports on all corners with custom Poseidon uh, top mount front and rear and custom spring rates. These cars are quite heavy with driver and fuel you're looking at almost 1600 kgs a little bit less so very heavy so for this car to handle on track uh, yeah it needs a few custom parts and poseidon has done that with this total package here as uh, you can see also by the stance of the car um what else on the inside of course for track use the Schrott, four point harnesses, uh, six points are not allowed and actually you cannot fit them on uh, the factory AMG seats. And these actually hold you in place very well. So no need for bucket seats here. And in the back we have the Wiegers half cage. So as you can see, the rear of this car is basically gutted as they call that. So only half cage. Um, aside from that, nothing really special as you can see. The upside down Trident logo. The A45 RS 525 Plus. So I will tell you a bit more on track about these parts, how the car will feel, how balanced this is. For track use, I would say this is not really uh, a common thing to see. A45s and in general, AMG A classes at the ring is not something that we see a lot or at all. So uh, for me, a very new experience. So let's see what this car is capable of and how it handles with these upgrades by Poseidon on the Nordschleife Nürburgring. So guys, we're gonna start this ring review now by going on the track. So we just did two laps with the car. Uh, feels feels very good, I have to say, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through, this, through, through it all on this lap. What the car feels like, what it does. Uh, very new experience this as it's yeah, four wheel drive, mainly, uh, mainly front wheel drive where the rear assists. So um, yeah, let's see. So the car is in race mode, the gearbox is in manual mode as you can see right here and then we have the ESP in sport and the ESP in sport uh, allows an X amount of angle on the rear so the car rotates on you uh, a bit more than it would with everything on. When you turn everything off the back really moves around so let's go. confidence on the car really important and actually when you go on throttle the rear tries to move on you a bit so that that's funny for a, a dominantly front wheel drive car so we're gonna have this guy on the outside here letting me pass feels actually very balanced especially you can really feel that it's it's set up for the ring very minimal roll eats the curbs really well wow what i noticed on the previous lap is that what the car really does in comparison to others is that high speed corners 
it tries to understeer a bit, which is funny because you don't expect it. So Flugplatz, tap of the brakes, you can feel the rear end starting to get a little bit light, pin it, and this is where you can see it understeers a little, funny enough. But that apparently has to do with the torque vectoring on this system, on this AMG. Schwedenkreuz, and now into the big braking zone. Does really well. The brakes are phenomenal on this setup. Poseidon really did a good job there. Now we're gonna go into the foxhole, see how the car moves around. Whoa! A little bit of a tap on the brake through it, through the compression. Wow, it feels really good. I have to say the steering feel is really numb in this car, but you really feel yeah, you really feel all the movement through your ass basically. So you can really feel the back end rotate through your body, which is a nice sensation, but it's it's hard to translate that through pushing the car because you don't have that much steering feel, which is yeah, it's very unusual for, for a track car, but it's a bit of a thing for for modern track cars or well modern cars in general these days. Again, you saw there the little correction that it under braking the rear end gets a bit gets a bit loose. Wow, these Pirellis are actually really good. I expected them to not last as nicely as they're doing right now. And I also really like the strength of the turn in on this car. Like, <laughs> when you go on power, when turning the car tries to hop and skip on you. But you can feel also during the lap that it is really a heavy car because the brakes, well, they're not fading, but you can feel that you're losing that initial bite and it isn't really a surprise because again, this car is almost 1600 kgs with driving and everything which is a lot of weight for a track car wow. the thing is you can feel that four wheel drive really through the corners which have curvature in them which have like on and off camber it really pushes you hard through those corners and here this is where the understeer really comes into play weirdly enough on these high speed corners it understeers just a bit which is yeah which is just weird so gt3 goodbye we have a little bit of a vibration in the car uh, the main mechanic from poseidon also told me that this is a thing oh we have 500 Now we're gonna come up to the famous carousel and see how hard this car wants to go through carousel. I like that you can play with the throttle and the car really, the back end moves around it. It's very playful. So let's see who does what here. fast. That is really fast through there. Yeah, I have to say, I really, I was expecting this car to be, and I, I guess when you go fully off on the ESP on this car, it does become a tricky car, but so far, I really like it. It's quite uh, neutral in a sense. I don't think this is not for everyone. You have to be a bit experienced to drive something like this because it does it does have a lot of yeah a lot of movement in the car, which is not I would say natural feeling. I would say so. As weird as that may sound, 
but for me, I like it. So we're through the famous Bruinsje. Oi. Ah. <laughs> oh, I like it. This car, this car really, for me, it really, it really asks you to push me, push me more. Give me, beat me. And it really, it takes it well. So this car is going to be in the way here. We're going to let him be. I put side on big, big thumbs up to this setup because I can imagine how hard it is to set up, to set up one of these cars. Please, sir, move out of the way. Steers a little. You can see the ESP trying to interact there. And now up to the mini carousel, almost there. Oh, I like this. Here we go. Let's see what it does. <laughs> that is really good. That is really, really good. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. We're gonna take it easy from here. I like it a lot. Poseidon, really good job to you guys for turning an A45 AMG in a car this capable on track. Impressive, very impressive. I like it a lot. Um, would I buy one of these myself, an A45 to turn into a track tool? No. Uh, this is not the perfect base for for any tracker like for example here an e36 any bmw at its core does it better than this but it's also sometimes about being different about doing something that that nobody has done and i think that is what poseidon has done here they've shown what they can do with a platform which is really not made for track use maybe in their opinion but definitely in my opinion it isn't and i think they did great here i really think so Guys, if you like this video, like, subscribe, uh, comment down below what you thought about this. Do you want your car to be featured in one of the ring reviews? Let us know in the DM or send us an email. The email will be in the video or down in the description below. And see you next time at the Nürburgring Nordschleife.